Oi, Ginge! Ginga Minga. Right, Copper Knob. Fire Crotch. Fanta Pants. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who? Fanta Pants. You're doing it. Right. Does the carpet match the curtains? <laughs> Yeah. Normally it's just like, do you have ginger pubes? And people are like, ugh, ginger pubes, gross. It's like, actually, they're fucking awesome. I get this question from strangers. So how is it okay that you can ask a ginger that? Yeah. You don't say it to anybody else. I, Imagine well, if I had like dark black pubes. <laughs> I do have one solitary black pube. It's like, that is none of your business. My eyebrows are dark. My stomach and chest hair is dark. So what does that mean? <laughs> I've never slept with a redhead before. All of the time. That's not happening today. Today is your lucky day. <laughs> it's like a kind of, a, like a unicorn or something. Yeah, so it's like a box to tick. What are you expecting? Six, six legs and three boobs or something? I still feel like it's a confessional. Like when I say I've got to look like a redhead brother, like women are like, oh, I love redhead men. Women with red hair are seen as Dark, mysterious. And guys see me as like a wild card. Chanting wild beasts. I feel like if you're a young and ginger guy, it's meant to be quite, uh, not creepy, but like geeky virgins. I bet you were bullied at school. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I was bullied at school but it was by a ginger girl. And then as soon as I went to secondary school, that's when the bullying started. And Oh, it's fine to make fun of some of the looks different. No, it's not. I was tall, spotty and ginger, so I was like a triple threat. It's really fucking hurtful. Why don't you dye your hair? Well, I did. <laughs> I got um, blonde highlights. I went through bleach blonde. I dyed it brown. And then from brown, I kind of went to like more blondie with a touch of red. It was like bright red. And then um, it turned green. I feel like people are dying their hair ginger now. 30% of all uh, hair dye sales is for a red hair colour. Getting cussed for having green hair, I found, <laughs> was a lot worse than having ginger hair. Sun's out, ginger's in. It is hibernating season soon. <laughs> Spring breaks, it's literally sun cream on. And we used to get so sunburned. so sunburned. And now I wear like factor 50 and I have a parasol. If you are just going indoors, it's fine because like, we generate more vitamin D anyway. Try swimming in a wet t shirt in the sea <laughs> that was your dad's shirt. You're like. <laughs> uh, oh, watch out for that fiery temper. When someone tells me I have a fiery temper, I get a fiery temper. <laughs> Actually, all, all ginger people I know are pretty fiery, especially the boys. Like, out of nowhere, I can get like quite passionate and quite aggressive. Yeah, I know, I've got a terrible temper. Have you? I'm not even going to lie. Then maybe it's been told to us so much that we then become it. Oh, she's got a bit sensitive. Oh, look at the woman. Oh, she's got sensitive. Oh, she's, Ooh, she's got, got a fiery temper. temper. You're not ginger, you're strawberry blonde. It's okay to say I'm a ginger or a redhead. Have I gone through my whole life being like slagged off for being ginger and now you're going to call it peach? Yeah, we need to reclaim the word ginger as well. He saved his ginger joe on my phone. Yeah. And strawberry <laughs> blonde. He's like, no, I think you'll find it's ginger. I'll correct that altogether. This is African sunset from now, <laughs> flat out, African sunset. Are you worried your kids will be ginge? I pray for it. <laughs> I kind of secretly want a Weasley family. And if I have one redhead, then that will be my favourite child. I wouldn't hate having ginger children, but I would feel nervous. Most of the people who like bully other people for being ginger or take the piss out of them, you wait, you might have I a ginger baby. I say that to people though. Because I know that school probably wouldn't be great. Yeah. Like, I hope, and I actually, do you know what? You. It would be the biggest lesson because that's when you realise what happens to people and how much it affects them, how much it hurts them. Do you ever wish you weren't ginger? No, no. way. I used to. I just wanted to fit in, not be picked on. Anyone out there who is going through periods of going, I hate my hair and I hate the way I look. It is awesome and you are awesome. Just embrace the fact that you're different already, and I wish I'd done that when I was younger. And being a redhead is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Be ginge, yeah. Yeah, grow it out and grow the beard when you can.
I've got one more thing, which I completely forgot, which you must know about. There's not a ginger emoji. Instead of the aubergine, I send a carrot. <laughs> <laughs>